Have you ever pondered life's questions and wondered, are coke hacks real? Well, today we're gonna find out. So in today's episode of Vid Busting, what we're gonna do is test the number of coke life hacks that I found online. Some of these seem to have quite amazing results apparently, so I'm quite interested to see whether they actually work. What's also quite interesting about these hacks is that it's such a wide range of uses. We'll be looking at things like can coke remove blood from clothing and can coke remove rust from steel. And finally we even have a look if you can turn a coke can into a battery. So kind of crazy that you can get all those uses out of this if it all works. Let's get started with our first test. For our first coke hack, what we're going to have a look at is how well this works as a rust remover. Now I'm sure you've seen this before or even tried it yourself. It's a fairly common sort of idea to use coca cola to remove rust. Um, what's quite interesting though is there is a basis for science in this even on the ingredients back here We can see that so what this says it contains is phosphoric acid now. That's a flavor enhancer um, it, It's instead of using citric acid. It makes it slightly uh, sort of uh, sour tasting Bearing that in mind if we have a look at the back of this professional rust remover the main active ingredient in this that makes it work as a rust remover is phosphoric acid so you can see that there I don't know if you can read that, hopefully it focuses. Now what I should say straight away is even though it's got the same name, the volumes in these are completely different and the actual strength of that. Obviously the strength of the phosphoric acid in our professional rust remover is very, very, very high uh, compared to the strength in our Coca-Cola. So it's a tiny amount, it's just for flavoring. So they use a very, very, very small amount, um, but it should theoretically work. So let's put it to the test and see how well it does. So we've got our two jars here. One we're gonna put the Coke into, so we'll put it into this side here. Pull that in. So to compare how well our Coke works, let's add a professional stuff to this side. So we need to dilute it. So that's what it looks like undiluted. We'll pour some water in there. So we've got two solutions ready. Now we need to add a rusty spanner. So you can see, I've basically grinded back the chrome layer on these spanners to get a good rust on them. We left them outside for a while. So that looks pretty good. Let's just dip them into our two solutions and see how well they work. So in three, two, one. So we have a closer look, we can see they're both reacting. We can see our professional grade stuff here on the left is already stripping away quite a lot of that rust as it goes. And we can see that coming off in the sort of bubbles it's producing there. Uh, and we can see a very small, similar reaction is happening in our Coke actually. Now a bit of that is gonna be the carbon dioxide just fizzing around the, um, around the rust there, but it is actually gonna be working potentially on the rust. So let's leave these for a couple hours and we'll come back and have a proper look to see how they're getting on. So after doing some Googling for some of these Coca-Cola life hacks, one of the things I saw come up was that you can actually use it to clean blood from clothes. Now I have absolutely no idea how that works. I'd be astounded if that works. So we're gonna actually put that to the test today and we'll use some real blood from my finger. So notwithstanding the claims I saw from this life hack that you can remove blood from clothing with Coca-Cola, we needed actually a control to test this against. Now after doing a little bit of research, it seems one of the main things we need is hydrogen peroxide and then a good cleaner to go in afterwards with. So we'll test our Coca-Cola hack versus uh, the more official method that we'll try here. So I just put together this little test surface here. It's made of a shirt, obviously, on a little bit of board. And obviously to test this, we need a little sample of blood. So we're gonna use this lance here to get it from my finger. So a bit of trigger warning here. If you don't like blood, skip forward. So let's pop that onto the finger in three, two, one. Okay, so you can see we've got a good sample there. Let's put it onto both sides. So hopefully you can get a drip. We'll put it on this, uh, this side first. So you can see we've got our blood there. Right, so we can see we've got a shirt here with both sides. Obviously this side we'll use the coke on, we've got our real blood there. Uh, and this side we're gonna use a number of different professional grade things and we've got blood there. So we'll see which one works better. So let's start off with the coke side. All the, the hack suggests we do is apply some coke and scrub. So let's do that. We'll let that soak in for a second before we scrub it. All right, let's see if we scrub it if anything happens. So you can see there's not really much going on at the minute. Let's apply some more coke and see if that helps. So it's not really removing anything. You can see the blood is still there, clear as anything. Um, and there's not been any real transfer onto our sponge. It is actually sort of working. I think what's happening more is that we're just sort of scrubbing away material. Definitely the areas where that were lighter, these were the darkest areas, that they seem to be improving. So the first thing suggested is to wet it with water. Let's do that. Now what we'll do is we'll apply our hydrogen peroxide on top of that and see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Look how it's reacting. You can see how it reacted there. It's very interesting. Obviously uh, reacting with the protein in the blood. Look at that, that's crazy. We'll add some more. That is almost completely invisible at this point. That is quite amazing. I didn't think that was gonna work this well. Let's add a bit more. 
We might not even need the other cleaning solution. Right, so we saw that the Coke sort of worked. I guess it removed some of the initial stuff on top, but compared to the professional gray stuff, not even close. You can see not compared at all. It's, it's, it's so much better, the professional stuff. Now, I think it's important to say, this won't save you if you commit a crime and you need to clean some blood. Obviously, we just can't see the blood there, but with scientific testing methods that they have, they'll still be able to tell that there's blood there and they'll be able to get samples from it. So don't be thinking you can get away with all sorts of craziness. Um, this is just to help remove it from clothing if you get it on yourself, obviously. Uh, I, you know, so don't be trying this. <laughs> Very interesting stuff, but the coat definitely doesn't work. You can see terrible uh, blood remover from clothes. Very cool. Right, back to our rusty spanners. It's been about an hour and a half on both of these. Let's have a quick look and see how we're getting on and compare them. So this side here is obviously our Coke side. So let's just shake that off. And we'll just compare that to our professional stuff. Again, you really don't want to spill this side everywhere since it's quite strong acid. So there's our two sides. I think it's looking quite good on both of them, if you ask me. So what you can see is the deposits, the black deposits are basically carbon that's left behind. So that won't be eaten away and that can be scrubbed off quite easily with a wire brush. So if we look at the difference where it sort of stops being in the liquid, you can see quite clearly that it's taken some strong effect. And the Coke is working quite well. Look at all those sort of dark areas that used to be iron oxide. It's removed it quite quickly. So we can see that the coke has worked quite well. I would say it's done quite a good job there. What's quite interesting about this as a method is that it doesn't damage the steel beneath or it damages it far, far less than you'll find on the professional grade stuff. This is very, very strong. So while it will remove the rust quicker, the potential that you'll actually damage the steel beneath is there. Whereas on the coke, I think it's a lot less just because it's such a weaker solution of the phosphoric acid. So it might be quite useful that to bear in mind, to be honest. So coke does work as a rust remover. Very cool. Yum, yum. So for our final Coke hack, what we're gonna try and do today is turn this into a battery. So I saw this amazing video where they seem to be able to turn this can and the Coke as well into a functioning battery. I'll link the video in the description. We're just gonna put that to the test and see how well it works. So let's get this open first. And what we need to do, well, just to show it's normal Coke. Brilliant. What we need to do is pour the Coke out for the minute, store it to the side now, and then we need to cut the top of the can. So now I've got an empty can, grab a tin opener to use on the top. So let's see how well this works or not. Brilliant. That works super good. So we're just opening it like that. Perfect. Should be left with a really nice top and then we just grab the thing out the bottom. So you should be left with your can open like that. What we need to do is dry the inside out now and then use some steel wool to take off the lining they've got on the inside of that. I think you can see what we're gonna do with that. And then you basically just rub the inside of this, like so. Being careful, you don't wanna puncture it. So now we've got a cleaned out can here. We want to take our Coca-Cola from before and pour it back in. So now what you wanna do is grab a penny, preferably an old one, and attach it to a, cro a crocodile clip. Now we'll place this into our solution. Then what you want to do is grab another crocodile clip and attach it to the can. And we should be able to produce some voltage between these two now. Let's measure it. And now when I connect this clip to here, we should measure some voltage and we can, in fact, see, we are measuring some voltage. That's amazing. So this has produced a battery. I think it's 0.35 volts. What the hell? That's mad. So we can see amazingly, it has produced some voltage. Since we're running out of time today, what I'll do tomorrow on a short video is set these up in series and we'll see exactly what we can do with a little bit of voltage we produce just from a Coke can and a penny, which is crazy. Right, so we pondered life's questions, removed blood from clothes and even made a Coke battery. Who says we don't do it all? Apologies, I missed the long video last Friday. Every now and again, I need a break, obviously, as well. Um, so I don't know when the next one's gonna be. At some point, we've got to schedule in some more breaks. But for now, we're back with every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So make sure to tune in to check those out. We try and post at 6 p.m. as well. Make sure you comment what you want to see me try next. I love reading through all your comments and seeing what you have to say. And on that note, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. We've got some big plans coming, so make sure to check it out. And I think we'll finish on these words. Very cool. Yum, yum.